So we're gonna get started on our half drop repeat. And in case you're not clear on what the difference is between a regular repeat and a half drop repeat, you can see right here that on a regular repeat, the elements on each row and each column are aligned with one another. But on a half drop repeat, the elements on every other column drop halfway down. So your elements are offset. And that's the type of repeat we're gonna make today. So the first step is to create a new Illustrator file in the exact size of the repeat that you wanna make. You can use any size, but it's important that you remember the size that you're using because you'll have to use that measurement later on. So I'm making my file three inches by three inches. We're using RGB color and 300 PPI. Now I'm gonna take this group of flowers that I wanna use for my repeat and copy it onto the new file that I just made. These flowers need to go in the middle of my artboard and I'll place them there by using my align functions to align them with the middle of the artboard both horizontally and vertically. Now what I want to do is copy the flowers to the four edges of the artboard to create a repeat. Remember that I told you to remember the size that you were making your artboard? Well, here's where you'll need it. The size of the artboard is currently 3 inches, so in order for the repeat to be a half drop, we need to use half of that measurement, which is 1.5 inches or 1.5 inches. So I'm selecting my flowers with the selection tool, and I want to first copy them to the top left corner of the artboard. So I'll right click, choose transform, move, and I'm going to type in negative 1.5 for the horizontal move and negative 1.5 for the vertical move. When I hit preview, it shows me that the flowers will wind up on the top left corner of my artboard like I was trying to do. So since that's correct, hit copy. So now the copy has been placed exactly halfway up and halfway to the left of the middle flower motif. Next, I'll select my middle flower motif again, and this time I want to copy it to the bottom left corner. So I'll right click, hit transform, move, and this time I'll still type in negative 1.5 for the horizontal move, but since I want to go down, I'll type positive 1.5 for the vertical move. Hit preview, copy, and it went to the bottom left corner like I wanted. Okay, so now let's do the other side. Select the middle flower motif again, right click, select transform, move, and in order to copy the flowers to the top right corner, we'll type in positive 1.5 inches for the horizontal move and negative 1.5 for the vertical. Hit preview, then copy, and it went to where I wanted it to go in the top right corner. And then we'll select the flower motif again, right click, hit transform, move, and to copy the flowers to the bottom right corner, we'll do positive 1.5 for the horizontal move and positive 1.5 for the vertical move. Hit preview, then copy, and now all of our flowers are in place for the repeat. The next step is to make the background color box. So selecting the rectangle tool or keyboard shortcut M, click on your page and type in the same size measurements that you made your artboard. So three inches by three inches. Now with your new box selected, let's go to align and with align to artboard selected, we'll align the background box with the artboard horizontally and vertically. Now right click and hit arrange, send it back to put the box behind the flowers. And then we'll choose a background color. So I'm choosing this teal color here. And I think that looks nice. So now let's make our invisible box, which is what makes the pattern repeat. So select the background box, hit Ctrl or Command C to copy, and Ctrl or Command B to paste in back. And we'll change the color of that box to have no fill and no stroke. Now, let's drag over the whole pattern, selecting everything, and drag it all into the swatches panel to make your repeat pattern swatch. And now we can test it out. But real quick, if you're finding this content useful, please hit the like button and please subscribe. It'll help me to keep bringing you more useful Illustrator tutorials like this. Okay, so let's make a big rectangle on the side here, and we're filling that with our new pattern swatch to test it, and voila! It worked! Now you have a lovely floral, half-drop repeat pattern. That wasn't so hard, was it? So if you haven't already, make sure you check out all the videos on my print pattern playlist. See you there!